Hi everyone, today I prepare for you kind of quick tip tutorial about how to improve color on your images, how to improve the contrast. Mostly it's about how to improve kind of sunny images, holiday images like this, I mean uh, with with the beach, water and sky. So I hope you guys you enjoy this quick tutorial. And at first we need to duplicate our background image. then change blend mode to soft light and as you see right now we get some contrast and even right now our image is much better so you see one step and our image looks completely different then go to image adjustments and click shadow highlights it's not necessary but you can use that it's, uh, it can improve your shadows and highlights uh, so if your image is too lighter you can darken this image in the shadows mode if you can see all of this click show more options so as I said you can improve your shadows using shadows mode on the left you darker your shadows part and on the right brighter then go to highlights mode and the same if you want to darker your highlights drag it on the right but I think it's not necessary to make our highlights uh, darker and the most important thing is in the adjustments mode we want to up our contrast really strong so you can drag it down even at plus hundred but I don't want too much so I put about 70 and okay another step I want to add some vibrance to this image I don't want to use saturation because saturation is a little destructive for the image so I put saturation really strong also maybe even 70 or whatever you want can be 100 maybe about 60 I'm not sure if it it isn't too much, but the vibrance is really delicate, so it's okay. Then I want to use color balance. It's probably most important uh, tool which I use right now uh, on this effect. At first we started with tone mid tones, and this is very universal. So I want to add some yellow on mid-tones but not too much the same I want to add some cyan to improve the cyan colors on the water so can be about minus 20 or minus 50 I don't want to put too much and maybe some green to also improve the water then go to highlights and highlights is our lighting part so for example uh, it will be um, our sky we want the sky more bluish than this so I put highlights in blue about even 40 as you see our sky is much more blue and also you can put some green and maybe some cyan but I don't think it's necessary Sign can be at zero and at the end of course the shadows it's completely different shadows are here on on this uh, part of water and and on this mountain so I think on shadows we should put some yellow color as you see but it's a little too strong at minus 10 maybe some magenta is a nice idea but also I think uh, my image right now have too much contrast so maybe only about five and if it's too strong we can also add some cyan for example at minus five and take a look as you see our image is right now more bluish more 
more natural I don't know how to say that you can use curves as a next step I only want to put some contrast in channel blue I mean I put down this line uh, on the shadows mode to add also some contrast and drag it up right here to improve the, the sky it's much better especially the sky and as you see it, everything undistracted right now and really I think we almost done right now but if you want you can add uh, the last effect to your image right now I press shift control alt and E to create my final result on this image and right now go to filter order and high pass it gives you some HDR effect so I think it's really interesting in, in this type of images maybe radius at 6 or 5 it's about 5 is okay and change blend mode, blend mode to soft light as you see it gives you some HDR effects uh, not too much because uh, uh, we don't want to destroy this image as you see this still has uh, a nice quality and I think it's all as you see it's very quick and simple so I hope you enjoy my name is Marcin and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial